John Glover was a British-Australian painter, born on February 18, 1767 in Houghton-on Hill, Leicestershire, England, United Kingdom. He became one of the most important artists during the early colonial period of Australian art, and passed away on December 9, 1849. Glover is recognized as the father of Australian landscape painting and he was part of the Romanticism art movement. His focus was on painting the Australian landscape, with his works characterized by their vivid colors, intricate details, and dramatic lighting. His style was inspired by the British landscape artists of the time, who he had befriended while living in England. Glover's influence extends beyond his own artistic contributions, having trained numerous artists in his painting school and shared his artistic techniques and philosophies with them. His friends and co-workers in the art world included prominent members of the British art community. John Glover was born on February 18, 1767, in Leicestershire, England, to farmer William Glover and then Bright. At an early age, he showed a talent for drawing and went on to become an artist and drawing master in Lichfield by 1794, with the help of the Countess of Harrington. In 1805, he moved to London, became a member of the Old Water Colour Society, and was elected president in 1807. Despite never being elected to the Academy, his reputation was high with the public. He became known as the English Claude for his romantic landscapes of Britain and Southern Europe. At the age of 64, John Glover moved to Australia, arriving in Van Diemen's Land, now Tasmania, on his birthday in 1831. He brought with him a strong reputation as a landscape painter and settled on a property named Stanwell Hall in Hobart. From there, he created his work, Hobart Town, taken from the garden where I lived. In 1832, he received one of the largest land grants in the region and named it Patterdale, after a property near Patterdale in the Lake District. Glover built the chapel at Deddington and is buried within the grounds. Despite being near to John Batman's home, the relationship between the two was fraught. As a painter of the Tasmanian landscape, Glover gave a fresh treatment to the effects of Australian sunlight on the native bushland and created a new paradigm that differed from the darker English country garden aesthetic. John Glover's legacy continues in his paintings of the Tasmanian landscape, where he brought light to the native bushland. His paintings, The Bath of Diana, Van Diemen's Land, Mr. Robinson's House on the Derwent, Van Diemen's Land, and Natives on the Ouse River, Van Diemen's Land, showcased the beauty of the Australian landscape with clarity. He left a lasting impact by building the chapel at Deddington and inspiring new artists such as Benjamin Dutterow, who himself painted significant works about Aboriginal Tasmanians. Glover's fresh treatment of the effects of sunlight on the Australian landscape continues to inspire and influence modern painters today. In conclusion, John Glover was a prominent figure in the early colonial period of Australian art, and is recognized as the father of Australian landscape painting. His vivid and detailed works showcased the beauty of the Australian landscape with clarity, and his influence extended to numerous artists who he trained in his painting school. Though initially known as the English Claude for his romantic landscapes of Britain and Southern Europe, his move to Australia at the age of 64 brought new paradigms for painting the Tasmanian landscape. Glover left a lasting impact by building the chapel at Deddington and inspiring new artists to continue his legacy, and his fresh treatment of sunlight on the Australian landscape continues to inspire and influence modern painters to this day.